Hi, I'm Zach Perkins, the Chief Executive Officer of TCEC. TCEC uses broadband extensively in the businesses that we do of providing electric service. The ability to have high-speed quality internet connection out in the rural communities is imperative. It allows us to offer the same types of offerings to our membership or end-use customers that uh, all the big boys uh, in the metropolitan areas get to do. TCEC and PTCI really express uh, cooperative principle number six, cooperative among cooperation, extremely well. We partner together in many community outreach programs. In addition to that, PTCI and TCEC also help each other during disaster repairs when we had some fiber line come delashed and they relashed it for us. Uh, broadband helps with our distributed energy resource initiative here at TCEC. TCEC has installed its own one megawatt solar community solar array. It allows us to share information real time and, and gather data back on how well these assets are producing in the field so that we can best manage these uh, resources. Hi, my name is Destiny Trailer, and I'm the Executive Director of Panhandle Services for Children in Guymon. Broadband has affected PSC in that we just exist because of it. I don't think that we would be able to provide the services that we provide out in the Panhandle without broadband. Panhandle Services for Children frequently has to place children overnight where we have to have paperwork within a couple of hours and broadband internet allows us to have that access and we don't travel all the way across the state and spend the money just to get paperwork done because we have broadband. Um, a few months ago we were going through a certification process and the lady who was auditing us actually asked me about our internet and she said, well, out in the Panhandle, you don't have reliable internet, do you? So you're gonna have to drive five hours to deliver the paperwork that we need and they needed it the next day. Of course, I told them that we had reliable broadband and I sent it that day and she was really impressed and I just think it's funny because everybody tells stories about the Panhandle and that was the first time I had ever heard that the Panhandle doesn't have reliable internet. I'm Tim Fulton, and I'm proud to be the president of Panhandle State University. One of the first things I'd like to say is that PTCI is one of the greatest partners that Oklahoma Panhandle State has ever had. And so when you think about the massive technology that they offer our students in an area as remote as ours, it's really extraordinary. And what it does is it gives our students opportunities that students in large urban areas have. So they get to live where they want to live, live the lifestyle that they want to live, study what they want to study, and they have all the access to the technology that they need. And that's really where things like broadband and internet connectivity and um, fiber for video and all of those things have really made a difference. And it's really set us on a plane above our competitors because of this access to technology. And so if we have a question about a construction project and sort of what the latest technology is going to be or what would be appropriate for a space like this, they're wonderful consultants to us. And what they do is they make us better. And having that kind of a resource literally at your fingertips gives us an advantage that, like I said before, nobody, n none of our other competitors have. Hello, I'm Sean Hansen. I'm the Chief Executive Officer for Panhandle Telephone Cooperative Inc., PTCI. Agriculture and energy are increasingly dependent on robust broadband networks, both fixed and mobile. Center pivot irrigation systems are controlled by smartphone applications. Precision agriculture is enabled by the UMTS LTE cellular network that John Deere utilizes. Fiber to hog confinement centers supports extensive monitoring for health and environmental conditions. The workforce drilling and maintaining oil and gas wells is increasingly dependent on fixed and mobile broadband applications. Fiber to wind farms facilitates real-time monitoring, management, maintenance, and distribution of the energy that is produced there. We go above and beyond the deployment of the latest and greatest telecom networks by collaborating with the community anchor institutions to make sure that they know the capabilities of these networks so that they get the most out of them. We recognize the importance of rural broadband in our rural communities and we're dedicated to maintaining the network and the values necessary to be a successful smart rural community now and well into the future.